Probability tree is a very good tool uh, in some situations where you have to find probability. Okay, so let's read the question. So we are going to use probability tree. We're going to use probability tree. Okay. <clears throat> Kate is late for school 10% of the time. Tom is late 15% of the time. The, the two students the two students travel to school independently. Now what does that mean? Independently means there is no relation between Tom being late and Kate being late. They are independent of each other or being on time or being on being late they are not dependent. So you can say Tom and probably Tom and Kate are friends from different homes. Okay, So one is not affecting the other. That is what it means. That they're independent. What percentage of the time are they both late? Okay, now to solve this problem, there are three questions. Uh, we are going to draw a probability tree. Okay, so let me draw. So this is a this is how you start. These are called the two branches of the probability tree. So the first branch is for Pam. So I'll write Pam here. So Pam. So what's the probability of Pam being late? So this is Pam being late. I'll use the short letter L later. And not late. Not late, I'll use the letter NL. So what's the probability of oh, Kate, not Pam. Why did I write Pam here? It is Kate, sorry. I should write Kate here. So the probability of Kate being late is 10%. So we can write this as this 10% is 10 out of 100. Okay. And 10 out of 100 is 1 tenth, which is 0 0.1. You can write as a fraction or a decimal. Better to write as a decimal or a fraction. So I'll write the probability of Kate being late is 0 0.1 or 10 percent. So what's the probability of Kate not being late or being on time? That would be 100 percent. Take away 10 percent which is 90 percent which is 0 0.9. So this is the first branch. Now one very important thing that you to need to understand is if we add this to this becomes 1 and 1 means how, much, how many percent? It's 100 percent. Okay. So if you had written say 1 tenth here you can write one tenth, so here you would have written nine tenth. Both are equivalent. Okay, anything will do. So now the next branch is for Tom. So the branch would look like this from this. So the next branch is for let me use a different color for Tom. Say red would do. So this is for Tom. Now what's the probability? of Tom being late. We're talking about now Tom being late. The probability of Tom being late is 15%, which is 0 0.15. So what's the probability of uh, Tom being on time? So I'll write only now NL, not late, is 0 0.85. So yeah, what is what are these two branches telling me? So the first first event is you can say Kate being late or not being late and this is Tom being late or not late. Now again here you have to write late L and N L again. Now why do we have to have the second branch? This is this branch or if you look at these two branches, this is first Tom being late and late or not late and then if Kate is late what's the probability of Tom being late or not late is 0 0.15 and 0 0.85. Now if Kate is not late what's the probability of Tom being late? It's also 0 0.15 because the probability of Tom being late or not late is not dependent on Kate being late or not late. 
so the probability will not change here. Yeah. So this is called independent events. Okay, so probability tree can be drawn. Uh, you should be very careful when when you can draw and when you cannot draw. Okay, so here here this these two events are independent of each other. So this branch would not change 0 0.84. So these are the two branches. So so let me underline this. So now we're going to write the outcomes. So there are four outcomes of these two events. So you, these are this is called for this is called the event of Kate being late or not late, and this is the event of Tom being late or not late. Now I'll write LL for outcome. Now this LL means this is the event. So there are four possible events. One is the first is Kate is late and Tom is late. That is L and L. Now you look at this, you have to look, go across the branches. So the second event is L, I'll draw a line like this, NL. This means this is the event of Kate being late or Tom being not late. Okay. The third situation is NL dash L. This is the event of or the outcome of Kate being not late and Tom being late. And finally, I hope you understand this NL dash NL. That means both are on time or none of them are late. Now here I'll write the probability. Now to write the probability, it is, the, what is the probability of K being late is 0.1 and the probability of Tom being late is 0.15. So the outcome or the probability of this outcome of Kate and Tom being late is 0 0.1 times 0 0.15. Okay, I'll write the answer. Let me write that in a, let me write it uh, see with black. So this, the probability of this would be 0 0.1 times 0 0.15. You can use your calculator. Uh, which is zero. So let's use the calculator. So this is our calculator. Go to run one. I go. Uh, this is. Uh, what did I do? Uh, oh, I can't uh, make this bigger. Yeah. Oh. So zero point one times uh, 0.15, which is 0 0.015. Okay, so this is 0 0.0.015. So this probability would be, you have to multiply the branches. The branches, this first branch is 0 0.1 and 0 0.85. So this is 0 0.1 times 0 0.85, which is uh, 0 0.1 times 0 0.85 equal 0 0.085. 0 0.085. I could have done this without the calculator. This is again 0 0.9 times 0 0.15. Can you see the branch? NL is 0 0.9 here times 0 0.15. So point uh, 0 0.9 or 0 0.9 times 0.15, which gives me 0 0.135. I need to write all the branches, then only we can write answer the question. Uh, what was the answer? 0 0.135. <coughs> Point, this is 0 0.135. And finally, this is 0 0.9 times 0 0.85. For this I will need a calculator 0 0.9 times 0.85 which is 0 0.765 okay so this is 0 0.765 now you can do check this on a calculator if you add all these probabilities that is 0 0.15 0 0.015 0 0.085 0 0.135 and 0 0.765 that will give you one 
So let me finish the question now. The first question is, what percentage of the time are they both late? So they're asking in terms of percent. So, so this is the probability is <coughs> 0 0.015. So we can write this. That would be 0 0.015. That is out of one times it by 100. Okay. So times it by 100 is that is 1.5 percent chance. Okay, so there is 1.5 percent chance uh, of both being late. What's the probability of one of one of them being late? So one only one of them being late is this probability and this probability. Why? Because this this outcome is Kate is late, Tom is not late. And this is an outcome where Kate is not late, Tom is late. So the question is, uh, only one of them is late. Only one of them is late means Kate is late. Kate is late or Tom is late. That is what it means. Okay, Tom is late. So basically to get this answer, you have to add these two probabilities, which is 0. 085 plus 0 0.135. They're asking you the probability, so you can write that as a decimal. So if you add this up, that will be 0 0.22. And if you want to write this as a percent, there's 22% chance uh, of 22% probability that either one of them would be late. Now, finally, what's the probability that both are on time? That's a great thing. So both are on the same time is this, okay, that is 0 0.765, uh, that's the probability. So if you want to write in, in terms of decimal, that is seven, 0 0.765, or that is same as 76.5% probability that both are on time. See you in the next.